my name is Lee Comas. I'm an art quilter. Welcome back to my studio. We're here for lesson two on the Batik project. So hopefully you were with us last week and you did a drawing that looks something like this on a piece of just plain white muslin. And then today I'm going to take you through the next step, which is applying the resist. So I want to introduce you to a product called Gouda, and it's not Gouda like in cheese. Um, this is about the consistency of honey, and it's, it's spelled G-U-T-T-A. Although I have to say, this bottle that I've got, I got from Jacquard, and they label theirs as water-based resist. So I don't know, the last bottle I had said Gouda, G-U-T-T-A, it's all the same stuff. The great thing about this is you can apply it to the fabric, it'll dry, it'll block out the dye product that we're going to put on later, or actually the paint product we're going to put on later, and um, then when you're all done, you just throw it in the washer and it washes away. So there's no messy wax that we're going to melt and that we're going to have to iron out of the fabric. We just put it in the washing machine when we're done. So this is Gouda. Um, oh, and I hope that you did your drawing and posted it online because that will enter you in a drawing for these um, Dynaflow fabric paints that we're going to be using when we apply color next week. So get your name in for these and those will be available. Uh, something else you're going to need for this lesson is a small bottle. And again, I got this one from Jack Jacquard. And, oops, side split, so I'll pull it out. It's a little plastic bottle and it comes with a nozzle like this. And then a tiny little metal nozzle that's even smaller and this just sticks on the top of it. Okay. When you're done with it, you also have a plastic cap, all comes together in a little baggie, and you screw that on top so that it doesn't dry out. So you store it this way, and you use it this way. And you can just pop that top off, and you fill it right in here. So you don't want to work from a bottle this big. You just want to pour that into a small bottle. And you also don't have to buy this in a bottle this big. Um, the last one I had was maybe half this size, and I think you can get it even smaller. You just go to the Jacquard website or go to an art supply store. There's a couple of them near where I live, and they all carry this. So I don't know what, you know what stores are available in your area, but I'm sure just go to an art supply place and ask them about this. If not, you can always find it online. So, so we've got that. So, what we're going to do is fix the fabric onto a wood frame so that when we apply the Gouda, and I've got my little bottle full here, um, we want to saturate the fabric. And if you've got it stuck to a tabletop, it's going to saturate down through and stick to your tabletop. So you want to lift it up just a little bit. And there's a couple of good ways to do that. Um, one thing you can use are these um, stretcher bars also from art supply stores and you buy them in pairs so you can choose your length. So if you want to do a bigger project you could do something this size. If you fell in love with this process and you wanted to do something even more, um, you know, even bigger, something even better, you can just buy another set of bars and uh, get a bigger size and they interlock like this. Well, trust me, you can, you can stick this in. Sometimes you tap it in with a hammer and then you can make it bigger. And these always come in pairs, so you can adjust. That's really easy. But if you're like me and you like to work on the cheap and you like to reuse things, you can go to your local thrift store or maybe you've got one stuck in a closet and you get an old frame, a picture frame. You throw out whatever came in your frame and you just attach your fabric using push pins. Okay. And that's what I've done here. So we're going to be working on this. I'm going to stop here and move around, or actually move the camera around so that you can look over my shoulder again, like we did last week, and you can see what I'm doing. Okay. All right, here you are, ready to see what I'm doing. Also, I should warn you, there is a big, nasty fly zooming around my studio. So if he should land on the work or bother me, if you see me do this, just know that it's not weird. There's a fly. So what I'm going to do now is start to apply the Gouda. And I'm just going to turn the bottle upside down, squeeze it, and go over all of the drawn lines, or all of the lines that I want to use. Um, for example, right here, there's some messy lines that I don't want to use. There's some horizon lines going through my seaweed, so I need to be sure I ignore those and don't draw them with the Gouda. 
when I'm drawing again, it's important that I close off areas um, so that when I apply green for the seaweed, it doesn't get out into the blue water. Another really important thing is to start in the middle and work to the edges. If you start at the edges first, then you have to lay your hand in wet gouda to get to the middle or it becomes really quite awkward. So be sure that you start and go from the middle out. So I'm just going to start drawing. I'm going to start with his fin. And draw around. I want to be sure, kind of go slow. I want the gouda to travel all the way through the fabric to the back side because if it doesn't travel through, then it doesn't it doesn't kind of wall off that area of fabric. And then when I start applying different colored dyes, they'll start blending into other areas. And I'm going to put some ribs on his tail fin. And you'll have to excuse me, I have a bit of a tremor and I'm a little bit shaky today. I'm just going to put five ribs there and you can see it takes a second. Hopefully you can see that it, the dark line where the fabric is wet. You can also look from the back and make sure that the design is coming through and that tells you that you've saturated the fabric. So I'll go back over and then you just keep going. You just keep drawing and don't get caught thinking that you have to work like all around, this turns. So you can work in whatever area is comfortable. Don't think about keeping your drawing right side up. You just keep going. Be sure when you finish an area that the lines touch so that you don't have gaps. Okay, I think I'm gonna come over here and do some of this. Now I will tell you, unless you have really strong hands, your hand will begin to get fatigued because you're squeezing this bottle the whole time that you're drawing. So it's important to stop and kind of just relax and shake your hand out. If you try to do all of this nonstop, just going, 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 you'll find that your, your hand is really getting cramped at the end. So be kind to yourself and just take your time. Maybe put on some nice music. Watch a TV show. Okay. And there you go, keep going. Right. So you just wanna keep drawing until you've got everything done. Something else to keep in mind is you, just because you did your drawing doesn't mean that you're tied to that. You can always go back. Something fun that I like to do sometimes is add some texture. I might just add some dots here in the sand. You know, and who knows what those are. There's all kinds of strange things laying on the bottom of the ocean. So that could be there. You might want to put some texture in if you have, uh, you know, this coral in the background. Add some dots to it. That'll show up when you go to apply your dye. This is a time to just play. Make every step of this process um, creative. You drew it the first week, but that doesn't mean you can't go back and add new design elements at this place too. Um, keep going. When you're done, it all looks wet. You can see where your lines are. But I should tell you when it's dry, here's another version. Okay, it's, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's a little bit shiny. Okay, but doesn't really show up anymore. And this is what you're going to need to have ready when we get together next week and we'll start applying the color. And I'll talk to, talk to you about things we can do for that. So, okay, great. Go out, get creative, um, apply your Gouda, and post it online so that we can see what you're doing. All right, see you next week.